In this video, we're diving into a world of innovation and excitement as we uncover the must-have new Skyrim mods that are set to breathe fresh life into your epic journeys. From thrilling gameplay enhancements to captivating visual upgrades, prepare to embark on a new adventure unlike any other. So, without further ado, let's jump right in and explore the cutting-edge creations that are reshaping the way we experience Tamriel. The first mod I'd like to introduce to you is Leviathan 2 Greatsword Sneak Locomotion and Attacks. This mod brings a fresh change to the animations when wielding a greatsword while sneaking or performing attacks. To utilize this mod, you'll need both Animation Motion Revolution and Open Animation Replacer. With these animations, when you're in a sneak state and move, your character grips the greatsword with one hand lowering their body. Moreover, when attacking in this state, your character swiftly swings, thrusts, or pushes the greatsword. These unique animations maintain the sneak posture even during regular attacks, power attacks, and forward power attacks. For viewers who enjoyed the previously showcased Leviathan 2 animation series, Adding greatsword sneak locomotion and attacks to the series could be an excellent addition. Next, let me introduce you to the Frenzy and Enraged Throw mod. Frenzy and Enraged Throw is based on the combat taunt animations from Baldur's Gate 3 and only functions when you have melee weapons or fists equipped and drawn. Upon installing this mod, you automatically gain a power in-game. When you use this power, you enter a Frenzy mode for 120 seconds. During the Frenzy mode, your melee attack damage is increased by 100%, and the damage you receive is reduced by 50%. You won't be able to use magic during this Frenzy mode. Additionally, the Frenzy throw is activated in this mode, allowing you to throw weapons to attack enemies in front of you. Please note that this mod is created for fun, so the balance might not be perfect. If you're not fond of the default shouting voice, you can change it by replacing the files in the Sound Frenzy folder. The male voice is Frenzy Shout M, and the female voice is Frenzy Shout F. Next, let me introduce you to the Simple Air Dash and Air Attack mod. The Simple Air Dash and Air Attack mod is designed for Skyrim Special Edition and adds new aerial dash and attack mechanics for Dragonborn characters. This mod introduces these actions smoothly and efficiently using behavior method, without relying on scripts. It also supports flying kick mechanics and first-person mode, enhancing the diversity of gameplay. When in a jumping state, pressing the dash key enables you to perform an aerial dash. In the aerial dash state, pressing the left mouse button allows you to execute an aerial attack. The damage dealt by the attack is determined based on the precision mode, with additional bonus damage based on your one-handed weapon skill. There's also a chance to knock enemies down. If you're looking to add flashy actions to your Skyrim experience, give this mod a try. Next, let me introduce you to the Elden Ring Katana animation mod. The Elden Ring Katana animation mod is based on the MCO framework and offers a set of katana attack animations inspired by the Elden Ring game. These animations are designed to be applied to katana-type weapons introduced by vanilla weapons like the Dragonbane and Akaviri Katana, as well as animated armory mods. This mod provides various attack patterns including regular attacks, power attacks, combo attacks, and weapon arts. The weapon arts showcase different effects based on the material of the weapon. For instance, a katana made of steel material might involve a drawing motion, while katanas of different materials could trigger effects like a surge of blood. With this animation set, you can experience Elden Ring's katana animations within the world of Skyrim as well. Next up, let me introduce you to the Dynamic Female Weather Idols mod. Dynamic Female Weather Idols is an animation mod for Skyrim that allows female characters to assume various poses based on the weather conditions. This mod pairs well with EVG conditional idols and brings cute poses for female characters in response to weather situations like rain, 
fog, and snow. For example, on snowy days, characters might cross their arms and hunch their bodies, while during a foggy weather, they could cover their faces. This mod offers a version compatible with EVG conditional idols, giving you the flexibility to choose as you wish. This mod a fantastic addition to Skyrim, enhancing its atmosphere and fun. Next, I'd like to introduce you to the El Sopa Shields Redone Part 1 mod. This mod truly goes the extra mile by providing you with resolution options ranging from 1K to 4K, allowing you to tailor the visual experience to your hardware capabilities. Its primary focus lies in the redesign and enhancement of shield aesthetics, bringing forth an array of improvements that include revamped designs, enhanced colors, and heightened texture details. One of the standout features of this mod is its attention to the fine details that often go unnoticed. Metal embellishments on shield surfaces are now more pronounced, catching the light in captivating ways that add to the overall authenticity. Furthermore, the treatment of wooden components along the edges has been meticulously adjusted to achieve a smoother and more natural appearance, contributing to the overall visual cohesiveness of the shields. The mod goes beyond mere cosmetic enhancements, offering a substantial upgrade to shield quality that can greatly enhance your immersion in the game, making it an excellent choice for those who want to enhance their experience on the fly. Moving on, let me introduce you to the Mad Men of Forsworn Overhaul mod. This mod completely revamps the Forsworn, Hag Ravens, and Farmers, giving them new identities and abilities. The Forsworn become more spiritual and shamanistic, while Hag Ravens and Farmers delve into darker magic. New enemy types, enhanced spells, and unique appearances are just a part of what this mod offers. With increased ranks, levels, altered traits, and a range of new spells and items, the Forsworn now provide an even more captivating challenge. Madness, a Forsworn overhaul, transforms Skyrim's factions, delivering an immersive and exciting gameplay experience that's both memorable and distinct. Next up, let me introduce you to the Naked Dead NPC Fix mod. This mod addresses the issue of deceased NPCs appearing without clothes. It automatically equips items from the body, hands, feet, and head slots in the inventory of deceased NPCs. If the sight of naked corpses has felt unnatural to you, consider using the Naked Dead NPC Fix to remedy this. It's a SKSE plugin without an ESP file, making it easy to install or uninstall at any point during your gameplay. Next, let me introduce you to the Dark Souls Remastered Pack All-in-One mod. This mod adds 56 armor sets and weapons from the game Dark Souls to Skyrim. With a wide range of Dark Souls outfits now available in Skyrim, you'll have the opportunity to try out various styles. Some of the armors in this mod feature cloth physics using the HDT SMP physics engine. All sets can be crafted and upgraded, and most armor and weapons can be found in the mysterious chest at the right end of the south entrance of Riverwood. The witch set is said to be discoverable in a chest at Winterhold College. And there you have it, fellow travelers. We've unveiled an array of remarkable mods that promise to invigorate your Skyrim experience. If these incredible additions have ignited your passion for adventure, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay tuned for more epic content. As you continue your journey through the realm of Skyrim, may your path be filled with excitement, wonder, and the joy of modding. Until next time, Happy modding and may your adventures be legendary.